yo, have you wanted to sculpt some characters but don't know how? Then this is the story for you. Hi, my name is Thomas. Welcome to the channel. This is the channel all about getting you to be better at Blender. So if that's interesting, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Enjoy. So guys, so yeah, we are on the computer. So let's go and we embed it out. So let's go into front view, go shift A, image reference, and you can go to your desktop and select your or wherever you have the image saved. Then we're gonna go to opacity and turn the opacity way down, and then we can drag this over to the bodies in the middle of the the, the viewport from front view. So then we can go and duplicate this, so shift D, and then you can rotate this 90. Uh, when you're in top view and then we can line this up there okay cool so yeah if we're going to front view we can go and go and so firstly what we're going to do is just we're going to do a block out so this is basically just adding a bunch of different uh meshes uh primitives so circles well spheres cubes subdivided cubes so on and so on and then just building the mesh out so what we can go do is shift a add mesh and we can either add, or we can add a uh, sphere, a UV sphere. So we can go to front view. So let's drag this up. It's going to quickly turn on our shortcut keys. So let's go into right view. So we can rotate it. And what I'm going to do is add move, rotate, and change, wait, no, move and scale. So what we can do, so you can see these little blocks that's to scale it and this is and the little triangles is to move it so you can scale move and you can also use r and g to well so you can use r to rotate g to move and then s to scale but it's just easier to use these so you can go to front view scale it out okay so then we can shift t hold s and then we can scale it down and scale this up. Go to front view. Scale this out on the x-axis. Okay. Get another sphere. Scale it down. Scale it on the y-axis. Go to front view. Scale it on the x-axis. Okay, cool. Let's go to front view. Let's go shift A, add a UV sphere. And then you can position the position it in the thigh. Okay, cool. So we rotate it to scale. Let's go to side view. And we can rotate this and scale in on the Y axis. What we can do is go and add a mirror modifier, so like mirror object, and changes to this uh, sphere over here. Okay. So, yeah, by the way, what I'm doing is on my keyboard. Uh, yeah, I'm Yuka keyboard. I'm pressing this button over here. And then that brings up this little thingy, this little menu, and then you can change it, or you can see what it all the views so yeah uh you're gonna see using your numpad it's just it's a bit quicker clicking this button then switching back and forth over and over so yeah okay cool so let's go and add another uv sphere so we can scale it down okay on the z go to side view We can scale it up, shift T, 
Alt S, Alt S, scale it all the way down. Rotate. Go to front view. Put this here. And then we can go Shift D. Rotate. And then we can go Shift D, Alt S, scale. Yeah, we can rotate. Okay. Okay, it's looking good. Um, what I want to do is add another mesh to act as the lats, just so we can get some more connection from the shoulders to the. to the uh over here to the back okay so now we can select all of these and then select this the legs that already has a mirror modifier click down this drop down and it's copy to selected and then that makes all the arm be mirrored okay and then yeah cool that's looking nice then we can go to front view uh Okay, cool. Yep, okay, so then we go select the files, shift D, drag this down, scale. can move it and then go to right view rotate this scale it up and then we can go shift d this would actually be better if we go shift a add a cube take the scales all the way down and then we can drag this up And then go control two and then select these edges and then shift e actually select the whole thing shift e okay and then we can go and add edge loop so we can curve the whole thing Okay, cool, that looks nice. So we can go and add a mirror modifier. Like that. Okay, cool. So, uh, Nicole, if we need to add a the circle for the kneecap, so Shift D, Alt S, scale this down. There. Actually, whatever. Um, let's just drag this back. Well, that looks fun. And then we can go and go to side view. Go shift A, add a cube. It's going to be for the foot. So it scales all the way down. Drag this to where the foot line is. Foot line, foot, whatever. Um, and then we can go drag this in. Then we can extrude this on the Y axis. Select this first scene, drag it down. Yeah. So we can press G X, go to front view, and then we can slide these over. Select the face, not the vertice. G X. This can go into uh bottom view that rotates ok 
Okay, that looks fine. Control 2. Select everything. Shift E. Like that. Okay, cool. That looks nice. So now we have the foot. So then we can actually uh, drag this up. Actually, no, let's leave it. Um, okay, cool. Uh, that looks us. Nice. Then we can go add a mirror modifier. Okay, cool. So, next off, let's go Shift A, add a sphere. Actually, no, we could select this, Shift E, uh, Shift E, Z, and then we can delete this edge shape, and then we can add, and select, select, Okay, cool. Okay, that looks us. Yo, okay, so next off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go add a mesh and add a uh, cube. Then we can go control two, go to the side view, and then scale this down. This is gonna be for the neck. So let me drag this up here. Uh, okay. So we can do this. Um, let's just uh, undo the subdivision. So what we're going to do is to drag it over here, and then add an edge loop. Go to front view. Uh, scale this in on the x-axis. And then put the subdivision back on. Uh, let's add an edge loop in the middle. Delete the vertices and go mirror modifier. Drag this up to the top. Okay. Let's go to Sabi. Drag this down. Drag it in. select these edge loops and let's uh let's drag these in let's round it out a bit you can drag you can drag these back and okay cool that looks fun And then what we need to do is actually I'm just gonna make the neck a bit thinner. Okay, cool. So let's go and shift A, add a sphere. Let's drag this up. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to go into Let's position this where the head is. What we're going to do is we're going to go to front view. And then we go select everything. It goes to here. Put on the knife, drag this down and it says bisect. And then what we're going to do is so we're going to press full and clear inner. We're going to we need to clear outer. You can see we can drag it down like that. And then we get it. Uh, wait, let's go to front view. And you can drag it in and out like that. So I'm going to drag it to here. Okay, cool. So, you can select everything, mesh, symmetries, and change this from to plus x minus y. I mean, plus x minus x. Okay, let's go to the top. 
and then we can select everything and then drag it out like that okay, same thing uh, mesh symmetras so then we're going to side view and then go and add a uh, mesh uh, cylinder so we can drag this up scale it down drag to the front of the face and then you can go to basic again then we can cut this part away and then we can select everything again cut select everything go to top view and cut Uh, go to front view, take everything, cut it, add uh, mesh, symmetras, uh, symmetras again. Select this and rotate. Okay, cool. So that's for our face. We actually scale this down a bit. Okay, cool. So next off, we're going to add. Oh, well, actually. So hands, well, let's just make the palm, but uh, we're going to have to do the fingers in another video. Um, scale up on the Z. Scale out on the Y. Okay, so we select here, drag this around, okay, cool, so then we can add, well, let's just shift A, shift uh, E, so shift E, okay, so next off, scale this in on the scale, the X axis like that, okay, so then what we can do is, oh, that, yeah, that's the palm, just add an edge loop, G, G, X. Skills in. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, yeah, and a mirror modifier. Select this to be the yeah. Okay, guys. So uh, in the next video, yeah. Okay, guys. So in the next video, we'll be going over how to make the hands. So that's making like fingers and stuff. And yeah. So make sure to stay tuned for that. It'll be a quick five minute tutorial. And yeah. Cheers.